Shall we move on? The um, junior doctor's strike, part du, happened yesterday. And um, it's, a, it's one of those interesting situations where you look at it and you think, you know, the, the health minister, Jeremy Hunt, is threatening in the middle of this month to impose a contract on them, basically saying, we're not going to bargain. Mm. We're not going to, you know, try and sort this out. This is the way it's going to be. That's not too bad. Very worrying, I think. Yeah, I mean... Well, that imposition, because I mean, it's um, it, well, I should say first of all, you say it is the English health minister it by the far the, the way the biggest health uh, area mm. England, so it doesn't affect Wales. So Jeremy Hunt, in effect, it, well, is the English health minister, um, but it's the biggest one by far. Yeah. And this whole thing about imposing a contract, well, I mean, you know, well, over the rights or wrongs of the contract, that worries me. That really worries me. Well, I mean, and, and the question becomes, do we really want doctors working six to seven days a week, diagnosing illnesses around the clock, burning the candle, not having a life? Um, you know, I, when I had my, my issue from, uh, from, from the complication from surgery, you know, some poor doctor was called in, took him half an hour to get there, you know, left his house and his family, was with me for an hour or so. You know, you're talking two to three hours of, of time that this guy lost with his family because it was truly an emergency situation. And you begin to wonder, you know, where's the line for somebody to, to, to really, he was the doctor on call, yes, but, um, you know, you, you, these junior doctors very often work double and triple shifts. They very often are there sleeping, you know, in bunks and, uh, you know, just trying to catch up a couple hours here, a couple hours there before the next crisis comes along and to impose a contract on them that says you now must do this <clears throat> seems to be. A bit mm, much. I mean, the because uh, there was an offer as well in relation to this. I think what, that that was rejected by Jeremy Hunt, I think, and you know there could have been a resolution to this whole thing over the junior doctors, and that I think has been rejected. Well, they, yeah, they will it's reject that anything that they don't get that's their own way, one hundred and ten percent. I mean, this is the Tory way. We know that, and and you know, quite frankly, um, I'm really getting tired. We used to call Rudy Giuliani a nine of bourbon, nine of eleven, because you know, basically, he always would you know talk about a sentence and what happened. And you know, we saved New York. We were there from nine eleven. Well, I'm getting tired of David Cameron constantly being a noun of verb and what we inherited after 13 years of labor. I mean, they've been in power now for six years. So yeah, at some point in time those excuses have to fall off and you've got to take responsibility. But I watched PMQs this week and it was just a farce. I mean, the man does not know how to take responsibility for anything. Everything is always somebody else's fault and everything is deflect, 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 deflect. How does, how does David Cameron and Hunt get away with this? I, I mean, there's a real problem in, in Wales because obviously the Labour Party has been in power since the start of devolution in 1999, yeah. you know, twice with partners. So they are in a difficult position, you know, they are in a position where they, and I've heard it actually, they are blaming other previous Labour ministers for past failings. <laughs> you know, Amazing. I, you know, after 17 years, uh, ch change is definitely required. It's one of the reasons I'm standing. And, and, and you sit there and you think, you know, if you can't take responsibility for your own record, and if you can't take responsibility for what you've done, over the course of that time period, then you know what the heck are you doing? I mean, it's a bizarre yeah. situation. I mean, I'm, you know, whatever the rights or wrongs of the Labour Party, uh, you know, or, or it is not healthy to have one party in power for that length of time. I don't think it's very stale and it's very old. And well, we'll talk about that going forward.